Youth Leadership Academy is basically like a one week mini police academy. It's available for kids between the ages of 14 and 18 from all over Baltimore County and it's held at the CCBC uh, Dundalk campus where we have our police academy. The academy has been running, this is the, our 12th annual uh, Leadership Academy. So we do it once a year, so 12 years. Unfortunately, I haven't been involved in previous years. This is my first year running it. However, we do uh, have some big hopes for the following years. We really want to triple this in size. We want to have it uh, so competitive. Being that this is a free program, we should uh, be filling every seat. This is, a, this is my first group that I've worked with. They're amazing, uh, very willing to learn, very respectful. Uh, we definitely have the cream of the crop, and I'm hoping that some of them will decide to either become police explorers or police cadets and ultimately officers in the end. Our goal is that they have an inside look at what it takes to be a police officer, see how we serve the community, and that we're real people behind the badge that do uh, everyday people doing heroic jobs. Today we had the um, Special Operations Units visit. So what we did was we had uh, a visit with K-9. So they showed us one of our uh, patrol dogs, showed us some of their tactics. Then we had a uh, presentation from our tactical team. After our tactical team, we then had a uh, presentation with the helicopter, uh, with the aviation unit. Our next visit today, our next stop is going to be the Marine team. And they're gonna show us uh, that aside from the 610 square miles that we patrol on land, we also have 123 miles of coastal waterfront that we patrol. So they're gonna talk about how we implement boater safety, uh, keep the shores and the people safe while they're out, uh, you know, doing their jobs as fishermen, crabbing, uh, as well as recreational boaters. You, attention. Uh, I remember how much fun I had when the first time I came and I decided that I wanted to do this again. Um, I'm not a know-it-all, so I knew I was going to learn something new each time, so I came back. There's always something to learn. I learned that being a good leader is important. Without a good leader, you can't get anywhere. I learned some characteristics of being a good leader, such as a voice, a strong voice, how your appearance affects what people perceive you as. <laughs> My favorite part was doing the scenarios because you actually are in a position of a police officer. It makes you think that if you are a police officer on the streets. And fortunately, there is a reset button in those scenarios. However, in real life, there isn't. So it makes you think about what, what uh, actions you're going to take. Um, you're going to learn a lot. You will make mistakes, but those mistakes you will learn from. For example, the scenarios, I made a mistake, this is my second year going. So I'm still learning, uh, just like everybody else that came here. Um, it's a learning environment. So you're going you're gonna to learn off your mistake. See how a, pol a police officer's perspective is, um, because most of us are not police officers, so we don't see everything that they do through their eyes. So by us going and seeing and pretending or um, doing what they do as a scenario really puts us back in their shoes, and it makes us think the same way that they do on why they did a certain action. Police! Police! So I felt like this would be a good start for me to learn about the police academy and what they do. I actually wanted to be an FBI agent, but like now I came to this academy, like I learned new more, like I learned stuff. I learned a lot like about how the police officers have to go through crazy scenarios, like different types, and you have to like really listen to what they say and also like about like about drug violence and all that stuff, like drug abuse and then the gangs and all that stuff. It's really fun to learn about scenarios that we did today because like you don't know what's going to happen, you don't know what you have to do and like who's going to come to you and like with so many problems. Right now like in my age a lot of people like don't like cops just because of what they see on social media like they don't know the full background story but like cops are people too and they do their job for a reason like I feel like sometimes they don't want to do that but they have to to keep people safe because like it really like make you open your eyes up about police officers and also like about yourself that you don't know about like it makes you become a leader like for this academy.